How's it going guys? In this video, I wanted to go over the fuel economy that I am getting in my 2018 Ford F-150 with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Now, I've had this car for like about six months now, so I'm really getting a good feel for what the fuel economy is in this car. And uh, over six months, I can really go into some of the averages that I've been getting and uh, fuel economy wise and just uh, kind of dive into the numbers. So stay tuned. Now, before I get into some of the numbers here, let me start off by saying this is the 4x4 model of the F-150. It's not the two-wheel drive model, uh, the rear-wheel drive. Uh, so the reason I got the four-wheel drive to begin with, I know this might sound a little bit stupid to some people, but I live in Florida. I have no use for four-wheel drive. I'm not coming up any steep inclines or driving in snow or anything like that. Um, but these cars, if you want to launch them, if you want to have any sort of traction and you're going to be modifying these cars, um, it is really absolutely impossible to get traction on a two wheel drive, rear wheel drive model of this car, unless you're putting like drag tires on the back, um, which I did not want to do. So I really wanted the four wheel drive uh, model of or four by four model of this car um, so that I can get traction because these cars when you launch them in 4x4, I mean, they hook with street tires. Even if you have it tuned, they hook amazingly. So that is the reason I have a uh, 4x4 F-150 is to launch it and still get traction. Um, but basically, it has a lower uh, fuel economy rating than the two-wheel drive model. Um, so that's going to affect it a little bit. But even then, I was really surprised with the fuel mileage. Uh, fuel economy that i'm getting in this car considering it is a really massive truck i mean a lot of people when they get into this car they're like man the, the the cabin inside is so spacious and so big you can tow i mean this has uh a thirteen thousand two hundred uh pound uh towing now that you guys have some of the info on this vehicle specifically and like I said, now that I've had it for about six months, I can really go into some of the averages. So we're going to look at the display here and just uh, take a look at some of the uh, fuel history. So you can see over the last 30 minutes, um, my average mile per gallon are 18.5. Now, if we go into some of the trip history here, um, so trip one, 6,600 miles, uh, we have gotten an average of 18.6 miles per gallon. Um over the last 9,100 miles, 18.1 miles per gallon. So considering the size and the uh, space that this truck has, I can live with 18 miles per gallon. I mean, that's that's pretty decent. I mean, if you consider the fact that there is, you know, sedans and much smaller cars that are getting 18 miles per gallon, I mean, that's that's not terrible. So I'm really happy with this car and I drive the crap out of it like i do not uh treat it very nicely i mean in regards to uh, um just performance wise i'm not trying to achieve maximum miles per gallon um now my driving is mostly city driving i mean there's a little bit of highway driving here and then uh but mostly city driving so it's stop and go traffic it's you know hard accelerations hard braking um so it's you know pretty pretty on par with what uh ford estimates this car gets now i have a cold air intake on this car and i did the vta mod the vent to atmosphere mod uh where you disconnect the uh tube that goes into the into the blow off valve so that you can hear it and let me tell you this once you do those mods your fuel economy is gonna go down because it's fun hearing the blow off valve making its little, you know, sushing noise. And um, it's also found, uh, fun to hear the, uh, the turbo sound of the engine. Um, so when I installed the cold air intake, I actually removed the little uh, turbo silencer wheels that they put that Ford puts inside of the uh, engine right at the beginning of the intake. Um, so I removed the little silencers, put on the cold air intake, and did the vent to atmosphere mod. Um, and I definitely have been driving this car a little bit harder since then, just because it sounds so cool. The engine sounds awesome, and um, there's no exhaust on this car, so it's literally super silent in the back from the exhaust noise. So all you hear is engine and uh turbo noise and blow off valve noise which 
I will admit has brought down my uh, fuel economy because it's just so fun to, you know, just accelerate hard and then let off and hear that blow off valve and hear those turbos spooling. Um, I do plan on getting this car tuned really near in the future. So let me know if you want to see that. Uh, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because uh, that will be coming up soon. We're going to do, I have, um, you know, some exciting plans in regards to, to tunes. I want to do a lot of comparison videos, you know, 93 tune because we're here in Florida. We have 93 octane, thank God. Um, so 93 tune, uh, E30 tune, E50 tune, maybe E85. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but let me know if you guys want to check that out. And if you found this video helpful, um, let me know in the comments below because I thought when I was researching these cars, um, I looked into fuel economy a little bit, but again, that was not my primary concern for getting uh, this engine and this car was not fuel economy, but it's nice to know some real world numbers and not, you know, reading off of a piece of paper from what Ford gave us. Um, so yeah, make sure to hit that like button if you like the video and I'll catch you in the next one.